Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Shred Claws. This video is about how to harmonize like the devil. <laughs> how do metal bands like Iron Maiden get that magical harmonized guitar sound in tracks like The Trooper? Chuck Schuldiner, the father of death metal, also used harmonizing. Get the full tabs for this lesson at my Patreon page below. That's where you can get access to all my YouTube lessons and courses on music theory. I'm hungry for your soul. <laughs> Now, the first step is to have something to harmonize. For example, let's harmonize the C major scale. Of course, C stands for Now, to harmonize, we'll need a second guitar part. In order to get that harmonized sound, go up a third and play the same shape within the scale. For example, if the first three notes of the C major scale are C, D, and E, harmonize them by playing E, F, and G. Three sum harmonizing, oh, I mean, harmonizing in thirds is the most common type of harmonizing that you hear. It helps to visualize what's going on by playing both parts on one guitar. Now let's get more devilish. <laughs> Lord Saint Chuck Schuldiner harmonized in fifths. Go up a fifth in the scale and play the same shape to get that Chuck sound. R.I.P. Using sixth intervals is another common way to harmonize. You get a clear sense of chord movement with six, and it works great in guitar solos too. Go up six, six, six notes. I mean, go up six notes in the scale to get this sound. Now let's get in the Christmas spirit and harmonize Jingle Balls. Oh, oh. Jingle balls, jingle balls, jingle. I mean, Jingle Bells. One of the most recognizable Christmas songs. Let's hear the original melody first. Boring melodies like Jingle Bells are ideal to explore the topic of harmonizing because they're simple. Now let's hear an acoustic arrangement. This allows you to visualize all the parts at once. Shh. This is a secret pro skill for composers and arrangers. Now, let's try the Chuck Schuldiner style of harmonizing with Jingle Bells. Playing everything up a fifth.
The sound is fabulously androgynous. It basically doesn't sound major or minor. Thirds or sixths are what create that major or minor sound. I hope I made you proud, Chuck. <laughs> Harmonizing is incredibly powerful. You can basically take any melody and radically alter the sound based on chord choices. Let's try adding some chord substitutions in our harmonizing. Great way to increase the devilishness. <laughs> In the first bar, I'm shifting between a C and C augmented chord. The melody stays exactly the same. It's the harmonized line that changes to form the augmented sound. In bar three, I move the harmony part to an F sharp for a secondary dominant sound. I also use a borrowed four, subtonic, five of six, and finish it off with some chromatic contrary motion. Now, if I explain everything I'm doing in detail here, this video is going to be 666 minutes long. <laughs> the main point to take away here is you can create a vast array of sounds using harmonies. Any kind of mood or emotion can be evoked by understanding how to put chords behind a melody. Another way to harmonize is with modes. By understanding the primary chords of each mode, we can create a harmonized line that sounds like a particular mode. Let's hear my acoustic arrangement first. Now electric. The secret to making a melody modal is in the chords. E Lydian uses E and F sharp chords to make the sound. A Dorian uses A minor and D. I'm using the second guitar line to outline chord tones from each mode's chord progression. But Shred, I thought modes were scales. Wrong. Modes are scales and chords. By the way, my Modal Mayhem course on Patreon teaches you about the chordal aspect of modes. Get that in the description below. At this point, we're going to go to level 69 and play the most evil version of Jingle Balls. Here's the acoustic version. I'm using minor chords a third apart, like A minor and C sharp minor, to get that wicked sound. This is a compositional device popular in black metal. Now let's hear the electric version. What do you think, black metal cat? The perfect arrangement to play when your parents ask you to play guitar over Christmas. Ouch, my ears!
By using the reharmonization techniques in this video, you can make Christmas sound like whatever you want. Majestic, evil, haunting. Cardi B. Being able to condense a musical arrangement on the acoustic guitar is also really helpful. Now you can see how all the parts interact right under your fingers. By the way, my classical guitar package below is the best way to start learning how to use those fingers. You can get that at my Patreon page below along with all my YouTube lessons, neoclassical masterclass, scale, chord bible, and much more. Merry Christmas from Shred Claws. Ho 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 